<laughs> Praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. Yes, indeed. Brother Thomas is with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, folks out there, a message of the gospel, salvation, for there is salvation in no other. It is in Christ Jesus, our Lord, the only salvation. The only salvation. And we are called to proclaim that truth, brothers and sisters, folks out there. Proclaim the truth that we are all sinners in need of a Savior. And that that Savior is Jesus Christ. He who came into the world sinless, knew no sin, committed no sin, the perfect Lamb of God went to the cross, bled and died, his shed blood, the price of your salvation, the price of your forgiveness. For without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. His blood, the price paid for your sin that separates you from God. For without Christ, we are lost in the world without God. But in Christ, oh, glory be to God in Christ. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. New life. Born anew from above. New creature. The old passed away. Dead. You are now alive in Christ. Your life is hid with God and in Christ with God. New creature, new things, new way of life. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation, to wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, God. For Jesus Christ, for he who knew no sin, took upon himself our sin and bore them upon the cross for us in our stead, paying the price. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted. And in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God. In much patience, in affliction, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings. By pureness, in now by, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report as deceivers and yet true, as, as deceiver, as, it was in, then by, now as, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as the dying and behold we live, as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. Oh, by the power of God at work in our lives. All at work in our lives. 
And it's all for the glory of God. All for the glory of God as we proclaim the truth to a lost and dying world. Sharing Jesus in whatever capacity he has given to us to share, we share. Regardless of the possible implications of that, being um, it afflictions or necessities or distresses or stripes or imprisonments, to most labors, watchings, fastings. Yes, we share. We proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ and the world's need. For the world is lost in his sin and separated from God and is destined for hell. May we proclaim the good news of salvation in Jesus Christ. Oh, the world is in need today. In need today of the pure word, the pure truth. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God and are in need of a savior. And there is only one and his name is Jesus Christ. His name is Jesus, he is the Christ. He who knew no sin took your sin upon himself and bore them on the cross, bled and died that you might live, raised on the third day. Yes, Jesus is alive. Yes, that we might have the gift of God, eternal life. All in Jesus Christ. Oh, praise and glory be to God. It's all in Jesus Christ. And there will be those who will speak evil of what we say and do, as there will be those who will praise God for having heard. God knows. God knows. And while they may speak evil of us here today, if we are in these things, and this is the truth in our lives, then we have no need of fear of what they say against us because we have presented the truth. We tell the truth. We live in the truth. We speak the truth in love. Yes. And yes, we are in these things, do these things because we have chosen to do so. But we are followers of Christ. And we want his mind to be our mind. To think as he thinks. By pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right end and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true. The life of Christ. As we live out the life of Christ. The life of Christ. Today, be not ashamed to proclaim the good news of salvation in Jesus Christ. Be not ashamed. Ah, but as ambassadors, speak boldly the gospel. Speak it forth truthfully and honestly. Don't carve it up. Make it more palatable to the masses. Preach the truth. Stand in these things and know that whatever reaction you get, it's okay. You have told the truth. You have shared the love of God. You have shared the saving message of Jesus Christ. Oh, and amen. God will judge how they react. But you have told the truth.
Today be not afraid. Oh no. Stand today. Stand and proclaim. In whatever way it is that God has given to you to, to proclaim it. In whatever ministry, outreach, way of life that God has given to you, be Christ to the world today. Be Christ to the world today. And if you do not know Christ as your Savior, if you do not know Jesus Christ today as your Savior, today is a good day to know him. Good day to meet him. But we are living in a day that is the acceptable day and time and hour and place. As the church age is coming to its close. Today, while you can, be saved by grace. The grace of God. His unmerited favor. You can't earn it. You can't buy it. You can't steal it. You can't borrow it. It's a gift. Saved by grace through faith. Faith, yes. Knowing that while there are parts of this we can't see and understand, we accept by faith. Faith is truly the evidence that there is a God. For once we take that step in faith, God is very real. <laughs> God is very real. So saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Not by anything that we have done. It's the gift of God. Yes, indeed. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. These things which we do and speak and all for his glory and praise. For we have been humbled under the mighty hand of God. And when we do and when we are, uh, God will exalt us in due time. Now is the time that God is to be exalted in all things and in all ways in our lives. Christ. The glory of God, the power of God. Well, hallelujah. Today you can know this by a step of faith. By grace, his gift offered to you today. Receive it. Believe in Jesus Christ the only begotten Son of God, who came and bled and died and rose again for you, for you. Believe, receive forgiveness of your sin, for truly all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So believe, be forgiven, and become a child of God. And together we shall proclaim the good news till Jesus comes again. One amen and amen. All right. Praise the Lord. <laughs> A little preaching from the gospel and shared with love unfeigned. Oh, no restrictions, no withholding, no holding back, telling the truth. In love, in Jesus' holy and blessed name, in Jesus' holy and blessed name, amen.